Okay, I've got a light in behind us here. Bit of shadow. Wave. And, um, okay, bit of shadow there. I'll come around this side. And it's come time to drop the con rods out. Now, just get them to a place where it's easy to get a run on and so you can get a socket or a spanner or whatever you're using to get onto it and one thing to take note of is on the side of your caps here on number one we have one one two two three three four four and they are the numbers are on the camshaft side so just something to remember and i'll see if this little nut gun will undo them oh go you good thing That's oh, a handy little tool, that Makita DTW25318 volt. God, that does some things for me. Okay, moving right along. Instead of doing a bloody ad for Makita. Okay, we'll get this cap off. So I usually just pull the bolts up and use them as a handle. Give it a rock back and forth. Look at this. Look at that. That's assembly. That's assembly grease. And there's still grease up the crank. This crank has never been turned. Incredible. I couldn't feel any lip on the bore either. This is a... Um, just a bit amazing really but yeah you can see it there that's the assembly grease the assembly grease is still on the crank there's no wear there at all can't feel it anyway huh, that's a mystery isn't it Okay, well, we'll turn that bearing out, and we'll just, what I'm looking for now is to see if it's been a ground crank or not. So it's a BEPCO bearing, 830899M91 standard, so it's standard crank with brand spanking new bearings, has never had oil through it. one for the books isn't it hey just call me RC Lance <laughs> how's that could not believe it all right let's have a look at the next one just to prove a point so someone's done some work that's why that head looks so good too I'd imagine anyway I'm just supposing there I don't know I'll grab a hammer and give this one a little bump. Yep, same thing. There's never had oil pushed through since I assembled the new bearings. Just incredible. Oh well. Now, to get the pistons out, what I do is I go and get a bit of broom handle, knock it off the missus broom, but don't tell her, or you won't be around to put your motor back together. Little, um, I'll just pop these pistons down. Take that new bearing out, I think.
Yeah, look at that. There must have been a little bit of swarth there. There's just a tiny little mark from it being turned on it. Nothing serious. We'll catch this piston. So the pistons have been used. So have the rings. They've got the bottom oil ring on. But yeah, the pistons certainly have been used. You can see just tiny little scuff marks on them. I doubt as much wear though by looking at it. And the rings are a little sharp. Actually, the top one's not. There's definitely no lip on the bore, but you can see it has run, so yeah, just interesting, isn't it? There's no, there's no oil hole going up to lube the gudgeon up here. It'd be interesting to know if the gudgeon bushes are being done. I cannot feel a, cannot feel a sausage of movement there. That's a metric sausage. Okay, we'll get the next fuller out. We'll roll the bearing out. I have to get a bit further down. Go. Once again, we still have the oil grease on there, but if you have a look, can you see that mark up through there? Whoever's put it together hasn't been all that clean, because we know the engine hasn't started, and we know they're new bearings, but there's been a little bit of shit in there. They haven't been all that clean when they've put it back together, and you can see a little run around the bearing and it hasn't even run yet so that's how cleanliness can affect it all for you well that's an interesting morning fitting around isn't it no compression now eh? okay that should give us room to get the number one and number four out And same exercise. I'll get my knockometer. Yep, same again. Still got the original grease in from when they assembled it. I wonder what went wrong while they didn't continue with it and the tractor ended up at the tip. Sometimes farms just sell. But gee, brand new. Yeah, farms just sell and the family's not interested or you know, someone started restoring it and they pass on or something you just don't know.
Now, if you remember when we pulled the head off, number three, uh, number four inlet valve, it was sitting higher than the others and it looked like it had a bit of moisture in it. It certainly did. You can see the telltale there. No big deal, certainly cleanable or, you know, something we can tidy up. Yeah, once again, they haven't been real clean. You can see a score mark around there. Who knows, they may have just um, fed, may have had oil pressure problems and just fed a set of bearings in from the bottom. Because if you recall um, from yesterday, the sump only had three bolts in total in it. So yeah, who knows, they may have put a set of bearings in and yeah, just not got it back together. God, that piston looks bloody nearly new. It's run, it's certainly run. Uh, our normal piston comes out a dark grey colour. That's not that, that's for sure. But it certainly has run. Looks like the oil grooves are lined up. So the, these two, there's one there, one there. Where's the other one? Around the back there. So she mightn't have had much compression, the old girl. But that piston has run, but it looks, certainly looks new. Okay, how interesting is that? All right, that's pretty well all we can do here um, because I can't get the crank out in this engine stand because where it bolts on at the back here, the crank has to come out the back. So, so for the moment, that's about all we can take out um, until we get the engine block off the stand and um, in another position. So, yeah, look, we'll pull the pin on it just there and, yeah, look, we'll come back when we get some of the stuff on the bench and we have something to look at there.